he's got him again. Healing with a great move up. Welcome to Mountain Grove Panther Basketball and your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. The Mountain Grove Panthers in the arena tonight. Back-to-back -back nights of home games with the Licking Wildcats coming in for this one after they picked up an SEA win last night over the Tigers. And uh, what was a, a good game for them? Brylan Mayberry scored his 1,000th point. Congratulations yep. to Brylan. Yep. That's a, a big accomplishment. There's Tony right there. How uh -huh. is Tony? As uh, Tony McNew is over here in the house. Uh, so just don't talk around about here, my kids. Jacob Mitchell's around here. We've got the crew in here tonight oh, man. for Licking vs. Mountain Grove. Pre-game show brought to you by our friends over at McGowan Auto. A big thanks to our friends at McGowan Auto and uh, all they do. So when it's that time and you're shopping, give them an opportunity to earn your business right there on Highway 95. You can't miss them. And it seems like they've been here forever. Forever. And support everything. So yep. a big thanks to Jeremy and the team over at McGowan Auto. As we get set up for this one, uh, expected to battle a good licking Wildcat team. I thought we might end up getting this matchup some way in the tournament we just had, but uh, didn't work out that way as uh, the Panthers advanced to a championship to play Hartville there. We know, of course, how that one uh, wound up and what is a really good Hartville team. Uh, licking Wildcats, so they've had a solid year this yes. year. Uh, I think 12, 13 wins on the year or something. Uh, athletic group, shoots the ball well, and uh, this will be a challenge and a good test here for the Mountain Grove Panthers. It's always a battle versus licking. Some last, of the, the last four years. Well, I mean, even beyond. I, some of our best games I've seen, whether it be here or over a third place, uh, these guys, it, it's always been a battle with the Licking Wildcats. And the one that comes to mind for district me is champion. really the uh, the district championship yeah. when watch Dawson make all those free throws in that one and, and stunned him. Of course, we went on and and uh, won the district championship and played, uh, played and lost over at Dexter. But, uh, uh-oh, Tony's got the news. Uh -oh. it, yeah, it's finalized. 60 days. 60 days. Yeah. As uh, 
We're going to kick it back to the studio. <laughs> Pre-game show brought to you by our friends over at McGowan Auto. We'll come back, tip off in about 10 minutes as we send it back. You're listening to Panther Basketball on Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Mountain Grove Panther Basketball and your home of Panther Sports Big Country 99. Pre-game show brought to you by your friends over at McGowan Auto. We're going to go over starting lineups in this one. As the Licking Wildcats come in here, Garrett Gorman getting the start wearing the number three, a senior for the Wildcats. Carter Solens wearing the number five, 5'9", junior. Austin James, a sophomore at 5'10", or excuse me, wearing the number 10. He's a senior. And... Roston Stockard wearing the number 13, a 5'9 junior, and Keaton Cook wearing the number 23, a 6 foot 1 senior for these licking Wildcats. On the other side for the Mountain Grove Panthers to start this one off, they're going to go Brylan Mayberry, a 5'11 senior guard. Peyton Shannon, another senior for you. Gatlin Keeling, a senior. Bradley Henry, senior, 6'3 forward. And then Sam Peterson, a 6 foot junior for the Mountain Grove Panthers. Getting the start in this one. We're seeing that a little more out of Sam. They've rotated a little bit between him and Carson Allen. But uh, Sam has played well. Not to take anything away from Carson because he's looked good at times uh, as well. And, and you just try to play him in different situations. I think it's when you got a look. When you got to take advantage of some size and, and you can do some different things with Carson. Uh, but Sam doesn't get pushed around down there. Yeah, I think uh, it's just a different look. He, play, he plays the position well down there. He'll get you rebounds. He's... Uh, Able to hustle and actually, he shoots the ball really well. I, yeah. I, you know, he's got a nice look at outside shot as well. So Sam gives you a little bit of a different look. Uh, but when Carson gets going, he could eat it up down there underneath the basket, and he plays off that rim pretty well. So, yes. uh, but now in this one tonight, he'll give you a good look off the bench. One thing I seen, you seen it last night, but uh, Aiden Eastep gets some playing time. Yes, uh, watched him in uh, JV tonight. Looked good. Looks like he's moving around well. Of course, Aiden broke the collarbone in the district championship game against the Ava Bears, and uh, tough break there. Last football game of the season cost him a, lot, a large part of this basketball season, but now starting to get back in the groove of it, and looks like conditioning's there. I think he's been released to run for a few weeks now, and as uh, Coach Openshaw had talked about for Aiden, he's a kid that he wants to be busy. He yeah. doesn't like sitting out, didn't like having that sling on. They didn't allow him to do anything for a long period of time. Well, now he's back in action, so it's good to see that young man back out there and making a difference. And just his athleticism, his speed makes a difference on both sides of the floor. And we've seen that in the JV game where they got a five-point win over the Licking Wildcats. Yeah, that was a tight one. Uh, Licking ran it close there uh, at the end. Grove ended up pulling away in the last uh, 50 seconds of the ball game. Uh, opened it up to a five-point lead. Yeah, but, I mean, it was a, a three-point ball game with – what, 20 seconds oh, left? Oh, shoot. I mean, they probably had, had a foul whole, down here. and The whole fourth quarter was like that, back and forth. There's Legend Coach Heiler. How are you, right Coach? There. Good. What's up, Coach? Coach Dwayne Heiler in the house to watch the Mountain Grove Panther basketball. He's been a part of some good matchups here. Yeah, versus this team. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to come back. We're about to have a national anthem, so we're going to break away for that. Starting lineups, by the way, brought to you by your friends over at Town & Country Insurance. Let's get that in there for you. Town & Country Insurance bringing you the starting lineups. We're going to send it back to the studio. You're listening to Mountain Grove Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Mountain Grove Panther Basketball and your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Uh, starting lineups announced for the Licking Wildcats. Starting lineups being announced right now for your Mountain Grove Panthers. We're getting ready to get underway here. The Mountain Grove Panthers, when you compare records, Licking's got a better record coming into this one, but the Mountain Grove Panthers have played a tough schedule and uh, looking to really, this is a team that you can see get hot this time of year. Based on the competition they played early in the year, I think you might start to see this, uh, this switch. Uh, going from things like the blue and gold and seeing Hartville in the championship of your tournament uh, to then getting into more of a conference schedule uh, here after the holidays and such. Right. So Not necessarily easier, just different. No, well, I mean, you, you know, you had the Tigers in here, the Houston Tigers in here last night in a conference game. Right. You get Licking over here tonight. These boys will travel to Ava on Friday uh, in what should be a good game. We played Gainesville here. Gainesville, I think, is a good team, but Gainesville – you know, they go and they beat a team like Sparta. They lose to the Ava Bears. So uh, the Ava Bears have seen some inconsistencies as well. So we'll see what this team has for Ava come Friday night. But before we make that trip down there to Booger County, we'll get started in this one. As going to the middle of the jump will be Stockard for licking. Henry goes to the middle for the Panthers. Goes up. Henry gets a tip to go the Panther way. Back to the Bryland Mayberry, and we're underway. Just setting up as Brylin brings it across midcourt. By the way, Mattis text in. They've got it up over at Mateo's right there on the square. This one's saved by Peterson, but goes the wrong way. James brings it the other way for the Wildcats. Kicks it outside, far side, corner three. Shot up too long, rebound, offensive rebound there for the Wildcats. Comes away to Stockard. Stockard looks out to his right, finds Solens. Solens backs it up, sets up in midcourt, has Bradley Henry in front of him. Looks down underneath, was looking back over to Stockard. Now back out, Solens to his right, drives baseline. Now looks back over to Stockard, near side corner. Steps back, has Shannon in front of him. Shannon staying right with him, works to the top of the key. Looks like Peterson was pushed there. Now works it back over, finds Solens to his right. Far side corner, Stockard for three, shot up, won't go. Brylin Mayberry was in the middle of that and may come away with it. They're going to say foul called. And I believe this is going to be on the Wildcats, number five, Carter Solens. I think I've got that right. It's going to stay Panther basketball, so I yeah, believe Brylin you're Mayberry correct. will inbound. Brylin giving max effort going down, trying to get that ball. Him and Bradley Henry both in a chase for it with a couple licking Wildcats. Goes to Henry. Henry works to his right. Looks to the other side, goes to Gatlin Keeling, and now a travel called on the Panthers. Put that on Gatlin as he was kicking it back out to Sam Peterson. Just a minute in here, no score in the first. Wildcats get the ball back. One team foul for the Wildcats, no foul so far for the Panthers. Gets this in to Solon. Solons brings it up here for the Wildcats. Do you think legs will come into effect tonight? Well, after just playing one last night, but uh, I don't know what licking if they played last night or if they played this week yet, but... Uh, sounds like JV got the opportunity to get in quite a bit last night as well. So yeah. splits a couple, a foul called on the floor. I think this is going to go on to Sam. Played most of the fourth quarter last night. Yeah, and, you know, I don't know how Coach was doing with his rotation last night, but typically in a game like that where you're, you're up by that much, you're able to rotate a lot of kids in, keep them fresh. Gets it in, floats it outside, finds Stockard, top of the key, rolls it over, finds Solons. Pass to Solens on the near side. Solens works in, kicks it out. Goes to Cook. Cook drives in. Looks outside. Now they'll work it back over. Solens for three. Shot up, in and out, won't go. Rebound comes away to Sam Peterson. Peterson pulls it in, gets it out to Bradley Henry. Finds Gatlin Keeling. Up off the glass and in. First points of the game belong to Gatlin Keeling. An assist from Bradley Henry. Two Panthers, Panthers lead it 2-0. Solens brings it up and across midcourt. Looks in, taken away by Gatlin Keeling. Keeling drives, dumps it off. Peterson off the backboard, up and in. Panthers lead it 4-0. That's how this team likes to score. Defense leads to transition points. Solens brings it up midcourt. Solens works to the far side, has Peyton Shannon in front of him. Looks over to Stockard in the far side corner. Stockard works out towards the top of the key. Starts to drive in, goes to his right, and a foul called. They call the foul on the floor, believe so. This might be on Shannon. Are they oh, 21 or 15? That, are they putting it on Bradley Henry? Uh, yep. Yep. Going on Henry, his first, second team foul for the Panthers. Licking looks to get it in. Gonna get a fall. Oh. Looks out, nearly taken away by Shannon. Comes away to Solens, drives in, floater off the right hand. Shot is up and good, but a charge called. Good take there by Sam. 
Points wiped away. Ball goes back to the Panthers. Second team foul for the Wildcats. Stays 4 0 Panthers. And that's two quick ones on Carter Solens. He'll check out. So Solens checks out 25. Cannon Buckner checks in. Pressure here. Goes over to Henry, to Peterson. Peterson brings it across midcourt, works from the near side to Brylin Mayberry, out to Bradley Henry at midcourt. Henry sets up the offense for the Panthers, drives to his left, pass to Brylin. Brylin through traffic, trying to dump it off underneath to Sam Peterson and goes out of bounds. Ball goes back to the Licking Wildcats. 5-16 left in the first. Panthers lead it 4-0. As Licking Wildcats bring this one up. Austin James bringing it up this time, works it across midcourt, looks to the far side. Now looks out to the top, nearly taken away by Shannon as he was going to Buckner. Buckner nearly loses his dribble out of midcourt, drives to his right, kicks it down on the baseline, spin move, shot up and won't go. Rebound comes away to Sam Peterson, a miss there for Austin James. Brylon Mayberry brings it back the other way. Mayberry works, drives to the hole. Looks like he's trying to dump that off to Gatling Keeling, comes away to the Licking Wildcats. Stockard comes away with it, brings it back the other way for the Wildcats. Has a little space, pulls back on a long two, shot up, won't go. Rebound comes away to Brylin Mayberry, gets it up the floor, finds Gatlin Keeling, layup, up, won't go, but fouled. That's going to put Gatlin Keeling at the free throw line for the Panthers. Two free throws on the way. Panthers lead it 4-0, four and a half minutes left in the first. What a defensive effort so far to hold these leaking Wildcats scoreless in three and a half minutes. It's looking good out there. Keeling sets up, first free throws. No good. Took a bounce off the rim. Subs, Trace DeVries checks in. Trace checks in. You said Trace had a good night. He put up 19, 19 last night. 19 points last night. Yep. Trace can shoot. He was bombing from the corner. Second one is up and good. So one for two on his free throws for Gatlin Keeling. He now has three points in this one. Panthers lead it 5-0. Looks out to Gorman. Gorman. Works to the near side, finds James. James looks over to Stockard on the far side. Stockard underneath. Will shove there, shot up, won't go. Foul call, and that's going to be two free throws on the way for the Wildcats. And send Keaton Cook to the free throw line. Yeah, Trey spot up over in the corner over there. He was just draining it all night long over there. Third team foul for the Panthers. First one on Bryland Mayberry as Cook sets up. How about those shoes, huh? I'm telling you. They in your collection. First they, one's up and no good. I don't think they would make uh, or pass Coach O's uh, no color rule. No. <laughs> Sets up. Second free throw on the way from Cook. Up and good. First points of the night come at the free throw line as Cook goes one for two. Check it in now. Number 33, Nicholson, 6'5", senior. So look at some length on the floor. Who checked out? Let's go through here. Goes to Brylin to Henry. Henry brings it up the floor. Near side, Sam Peterson. Tries to split a couple defenders. Looks to the other side. Goes to Trace DeVries. DeVries looks to drive baseline. Kicks it out. Goes to Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry fakes underneath. Was looking to Peterson, who's cutting towards the basket. Instead kicks it out to Bradley Henry at midcourt. Henry works to his right. Now back to his left. Big jump stop. Layup up and won't go, but a foul call. Two free throws on the way for Bradley Henry. 348 remaining in the first. Panthers lead it 5-1. to one. That's now four team fouls for the Licking Wildcats. First one called on Garrett Gorman as Bradley Henry sets up at the free throw line. Three team fouls for the Panthers. 348 left here in the first. 5-1 the score. Make it 6-1. First points of the night for Bradley Henry as the free throw is good. Bradley sets up for his second. Second free throw, no good. A little long on there. Big bounce off the rim. Rebound comes away to Garrett Gorman. This one then tipped away. Tipped around, comes away to Stockard. Little contact, leaves a shot short, gets his own rebound, and the putback's up and good for Stockard. As Roston Stockard adds two. Looks in, Gatlin Keelan has his shot blocked, but able to come away with it. Looks to the other side, finds Bradley Henry. Henry works from outside, drives the hole, shot up off the glass, and good as Bradley Henry gets two to go. 8-3 now your score here in the first. 3-18 left in the first. Panthers with a five-point lead as James brings it up the floor for the Wildcats. James works from the top, looks over to his right, goes to Gorman. Gorman looks in underneath to Nicholson. Nicholson trying to back Sam down, lost his dribble, able to run it down. 
Now kicks it out, finds Stocker to the top of the key. Stocker drives through, splits defenders, puts the shot up, up and good for Austin Stocker. That's going to be now four points on the night for Stockard. Brylin around the back, gives the fake, kicks it out to Peterson, but called for the travel. He was setting Peterson up for the three. It's a three-point ball game. Panthers with a lead, 245 left in the first. Gatlin Keeling checks out. As Destin Unger checks in, looks like Carson Allen coming in. Sam get a break here. Sam yep. comes out. So you're... Uh... 6-5, friend went to the bench. As James brings it up the floor. James picks up his dribble, looks out to the top, finds Gorman. Gorman works it over to Stockard, back out to Gorman at the top of the key. Has Trace DeVries in front of him. Gorman working to his right. And looks like those feet didn't get stopped, called for the travel. A little too much momentum. I'm just uh, impressed with the post play from our two bigs down there. And we call Sam the big kid, you know what I mean? But uh, hey, him and he plays strong. huge. Carson goes back to Bradley Henry. Allen sets up here. He was setting up to screen there for Bradley. Pulls up on about a 12-foot jumper. Shot up, won't go. Rebound comes away to Licking. To the other side with Gorman. Gorman nearly lost his dribble. Picks it up. Feeds it in underneath. Now back out to Gorman. Gorman to his left. Outside. Drives the baseline. Trying to dump it off Still underneath. Take it away by Bradley Henry. Henry to the other side. Gives a fake reverse layup. Up and good for Bradley Henry off the left hand. I thought he missed it at first. I didn't see I the I thought reverse. he was about to get too fancy with it. Yeah. Five-point lead for the Panthers. Bradley Henry has five. Gorman looks to go baseline. And out of bounds. Stepped out. Turnover there for the Wildcats. Pass 23 checks back in. That's Keaton Cook. 135 left Who here. Else in the first. coming in here? 24. Yep. Logan Gorman. Some have two Gormans out here. 25 checking out. That's Buckner. 34 in in Ritz. 6'4 junior. They're playing all of them. Yep. Henry brings it across midcourt. Panthers lead it by five, 125 left here in the first. Bradley Henry sets up the offense. Brody Emery has checked in for the Panthers, the freshman on the floor. Goes to Trace DeVries, DeVries to Brody. Brody looks to the near side, finds Bradley Henry. Henry looks across the floor, goes to Trace DeVries, pulls the trigger on a three, shot up, a little short, takes a bounce off the rim. Rebound comes away to Ritz for the Wildcats. Jordan Ritz, number 34. Goes to Gorman to the other side. Shot up off the right hand. Won't go. Rebound comes away to Destin Unger. Gets it to DeVries. DeVries brings it up the floor. Floats it over to Bradley Henry on the near side. Henry splits a couple defenders. Looks out. Goes to Brody Emery. Emery works to his right. Pulls up on about a 15-foot jumper. It's up and good. Brody Emery with his first points of the night. Panthers lead it by seven. Goes to James. James brings it up the floor. Crosses midcourt for the Wildcats. Works from the top, trying to get around Brody Emery. Picks up his dribble, now looks to kick it out to Stockard. Stockard to his right. Sets up, puts up a key, to, or a three from the top of the key. Thinks somebody got a hand on that one. Emery came away with the rebound, then throws it away, trying to feed it into Bradley Henry. He was trying to thread the needle there. To the other side, baseline jumper, shot up, won't go for the Wildcats. Ritz on the putback is up and good. Makes it 12-7. Tell you right now, Ritz would make the team. Brush Mitchell would know if he's watching this broadcast. Ritz would make the team. <laughs> Shot up. Three is good. up. Three is good for Bradley Henry. Man, he was back there by the volleyball line. 15-7 to seven the score at the end of the first. Panthers lead it. As we'll head to the second, you're listening to Panther basketball on your home of Panther sports, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Basketball in your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Panthers lead it by eight. Wildcats start off with the ball. Solons brings it up the floor. Solons. I believe he's playing with two fouls right now. Kicks Shot it over up. near side and a charge, charge called. Brylan Mayberry takes it. Is that going to be on 23? I think that maybe was on Cook. We'll see. Waiting. No. Is it? Who they I can't it see on? from here. 34. They put it on Ritz. There you go. Gets it into Bradley Henry. Henry brings it up the floor. First team foul there for the Wildcats. We've not updated the board over there quite yet. Goes to Henry far side. That's off the face of Peyton Shannon. Comes away to the Licking Wildcats. That gets it back to Solons who brings it up the floor. Carter Solons works from the near side. Has Shannon in front of him. Works towards the top of the key. Backs it up. Now looks over near side. Gives a fake. Drives baseline. Gets around Brylin Mayberry. Layup is up and good for Austin James. Panthers push it up the floor with a six-point lead. Brylin Mayberry looks to Sam Peterson. Peterson across the floor. Shannon for three. Good! Peyton Shannon knocks down a three. Panthers lead it by nine. Solons to the other side for the Wildcats. Brings it across midcourt. Solons looks to his right. Feeds it in underneath to Ritz. Creates some space. Solons a look at three. A little too long. Rebound is going to come away to 24 for the Wildcats. That's Gorman to the other side. Backcourt. It will be a backcourt violation as Gorman was trying to get that back out to Solons and overthrew him. 18-9, your score, Panthers lead here. So I talk about Ritz making the team. Brush and I have always had like a, a football team made up of kids from schools that don't have football. Uh-huh. I'm saying I think Ritz would make the team. Goes into Bradley Henry, trying to dump it off to Sam Peterson, gives a fake shot up off the glass, and good. Panthers lead it by 11. Largest lead of the game for the Panthers, down to 635 left in the first half. Solens brings it up the floor. Works from the top, drives in, pulls up, and a bank shot from about 15, 16 foot away to the other side. It's a nine-point lead for the Panthers. Little floater off the right hand of Gatlin Keeling is up and good. Answers right back. Solons brings it up the floor. Solons crosses midcourt and looks to the near side. Finds Austin James. James sets up with Brylin Mayberry in front of him. Picks up his dribble. Looks to float it in underneath. Goes to Ritz. Shot up and good. As Ritz adds two here for the Wildcats. Bradley Henry brings it back the other way. Looks in underneath to Sam. Outside to Shannon for three. A little short on that one. Foul and call. we're having over the back call on Gatlin Keeling as he was trying to take that away from Ritz. We have a couple of subs here. Maybe. Looks like Stockard set to check in. Trying to get a number on the other one. Get 20 22. 22. Yeah. Stevens, Austin Stevens, another senior. 10 goes out. As uh, 10 is Austin James checks out. Solons brings it up the floor for the Wildcats. Crosses midcourt with it. Solons works to his right, and he's going to be fouled by Gatlin Keeling. That's going to be number two on Gatlin. Gatlin has five points in this one. Just picked up his second foul in a matter of the last 45 seconds. Gets back into Solon. Solons brings it up the floor for the Wildcats. Five and a half minutes left in the first half. Panthers lead it 22-13. Wildcats with the ball. Gets it over to Stockard. Stockard works out towards the top. Stockard trying to get around Bradley Henry. Looks to the near side corner. Puts up a three. Shot is in and out. Rebound comes away to Bradley Henry. That was Stevens on the miss. Goes to Keeley. Another side. Layup up and good. Timeout. That's going to force a timeout. Wildcats take time. We'll take time as well. Five minutes and 13 seconds left in the first half. Panthers lead it 24 to 13. As we send it back, you're listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball in your home of Panthers Sports, Big Country 99. 5-13 left here in the first half. Panthers lead it 24-13. A 
Leading scorer right now be Bradley Henry. He has eight points in this one. Gatlin Keeling right behind him. He has seven. You have Peyton Shannon in there has added three. Sam Peterson's added four. I'm still surprised no scoring so far from Brylon Mayberry. He'll get going, though. He's all over the place defensively. Solons brings it up the floor for the Wildcats. Looks to the near side, goes to Stockard. Stockard works to his right, goes back to his left. He's looking over to Solons, not there. Works back towards the top of the key. Has Bradley Henry in front of him. Now dumps it off to Solons. Solons works from the near side. Solons to his right, top of the key, pulls up on a three. Shot is up, in and out, won't go. Rebound initially came away to the Wildcats. They say last touch by Sam Peterson as it goes out. Stevens had good position there. And they say Peterson touched it before it rolls out. 446 left here. Looked like Sam had an opportunity to come away with it. I think he thought Stevens had last touched it, so he just let it go. Gets it into Solon. Solon's trying to work to the rim. Shot up and good. High off the glass. Trace DeVries set to check in as Bradley Henry brings it up the floor. Henry works to the near side. Henry looks out, finds Brylin Mayberry. Four and a half minutes left in the first half. It's a nine-point ball game. Panthers lead it. Looks to the other side. Finds Gatlin Keeling. Keeling looks to his right. Works around. Now outside goes to Peyton Shannon. Shannon back to Bradley Henry. Henry works to his right. Looks over. Sam Peterson slicing in. Has his shot blocked. Gets it back, though. Works in. Shot up. Won't go. Rebound. Comes away to the Wildcats. As Austin James comes away with it. Goes to Solon. Solons brings it up the floor for the Wildcats. Solon sets up. Top of the key. Goes to his right, looks out, far side, drives in, dumps it off. Near side, works baseline, dumps it off to Ritz. Ritz shot up off the glass and in. It's a seven-point ball game as the Panthers bring it back the other way with Bradley Henry. Looks like Trace DeVries and is that Aiden sets a check in? Aiden Step. Yep. Goes to Henry. Henry works to the top. Dumps it off, pass to Brylin Mayberry. Inside, no look past Sam Peterson. Shot up, off the glass, won't go. Rebound comes away to the Wildcats. Solons brings it back for the Wildcats. Goes to his right, far side, looks at the corner. Now works out to Stocker to the top of the key. Down to 3.15 left in the first half. It's a seven-point ball game. Panthers lead it. Wildcats with the ball, trying to work around a screen from Ritz. Now drives in, backs it out. Kicks it out, long three, good. Ugh. Solons drills it. It's a four-point ball game. Bradley Henry brings it back the other way for the Panthers. Henry looks to Brylin Mayberry, works it out to Gatlin Keeling. Keeling from the top. Under three minutes to play in the first half. It's a four-point ball game. Panthers have led it the whole way and have led by as much as 11 in this one. Goes into Gatlin. Gatlin dumps it off to Sam. Sam gives a fake. Shot up off the glass and in. Hey, he does a good job with that. I know he missed on the one before it, but... Gives that little fake, gets them up off their feet, and then able to go up strong. Looks to get this one underneath. This one tipped in by Bradley Henry. Comes away to Peyton Shannon. Dumps it off to Gatlin Keeling. Shot up off the left hand and good for Gatlin Keeling, who now has nine points in this one. Good assist there from Brylin Mayberry. Eight-point ball game. Solons brings it up the floor. Works from the top. Solons looks to the far side corner. Finds Stevens. Trying to look underneath to Ritz, and that is tipped away by the Panthers. DeVries and Estep check in. Good to see Aiden back on the floor. 2.08 left here in the half. 28-20, your score, Panthers lead. Last mem memory of him playing sports was that <laughs> arm hanging down as he was still running that ball down the field at Ava. And man, he didn't want to come out of that one. No. That adrenaline was it going. If they'd have let him play with a broken collarbone, he'd have kept going. I think he felt it after, yeah, <laughs> after, after that play. Yeah. Gets it into Solons. Solons works from midcourt. Goes to his right. Kicks it out. Far side corner. Three up. Won't go. Rebound comes away. Offensive rebound for the Wildcats. Dumps it off to Ritz. Ritz shot up. Won't go. And a travel called. Ball goes back to the Panthers, who lead it by eight. 28-20. 151 left in the first. Yeah, that was a rough night for Panther quarterbacks. Yep. Goes to Brylin Mayberry. Aiden Estep. Estep works from the near side. Back to Brylin. Down to 142 left in the first half. Panthers lead it 28-20. Carson was there setting up the screen. Bryland spins through traffic. Shot up high off the glass. Won't go. Rebound comes away to Solons. Foul called on the floor. That's going to be on Aiden Estep. 
28-20 the score with 1.30 left here in the half. Three team fouls now on the Panthers. Gorman looks to get this one in, gets it into Solons who brings it up. Solon starts up the court, brings it across midcourt, 123 left. First one on Aiden, third team foul again for the Panthers. Goes in, has it knocked away, comes away to Bradley Henry. Henry through traffic. He's going to back it out, sets up the offense, feeds it in. Underneath goes to Carson Allen, shot up, won't go. But Carson is fouled, and that will put him at the free throw line for two. Down to 110 left here in the half. 28-20, Panthers lead. That's now number two on Ritz, by the way. Ritz has played well for them. He's six six points. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, six points, but come in off the bench and played well so far. First one good for Allen. Carson gets it to go. First points of the night for him. 29-20. Sets up. Second one is up and good. No doubt about it. Ten-point lead for the Panthers. 30-20 to 20 your score. Solens brings it up the court, works it across midcourt. Down to 102 left in the half. Looks across the floor. Down to the near side. James works with Trace DeVries in front of him. Works to his right. Nearly has it taken away by Brylin Mayberry. And a foul called on the floor. This be wow. team foul number four. Who are they putting it on? Henry? I hope Did not. he give it to Henry? Yeah. Yep, number two on Bradley. He was the only one in the area. Looks to get it in, goes to Ritz. Ritz works right to the rim, in and out. How did that drop? Bradley Mayberry comes away with the rebound, brings it up the floor, looks to the far side, Trace DeVries for three, won't go. Big bounce off the rim, comes away to Carson Allen, who is fouled. Yeah. And they're going to say in the act of shooting, he's going to the free throw line. He was coming back up. Ten-point ball game, Panthers lead 30-20. Carson could match the largest lead of the game right here for the Panthers. Really need to finish strong here in the half. They let him come back. First one's up and no good. It jinxed him on that. I know. Ritz picked up his third one, by the way. Let so him. he checks out. It's 22. Stevens checks back in. Let him come back to within five and then pushed it back out to 10 here in the closing seconds of the half. Carson sets up. Second one up and no good. Rebound comes away to the Ooh, Wildcats. Foul called. Foul called here on Trace. That's shooting now. Yeah, so now you're into the yep. bonus. They did give it to Trace. That's going to put number 22, Austin Stevens, six-foot senior at the free throw line for the Wildcats. First one on Trace. Don't want to give him up the easy ones. He's trying to go after the ball there. First one's up and good. Just trying to go after the ball there. And DeVries will check out a Peterson and Peyton, Shannon, and Bradley. Oh, Bradley was already on the floor. Never mind. Well, he's checking back in. He checked out. Oh, and just East Step went out for him. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Sets up. Free throws up and good. Eight-point ball game. 34 seconds left. Brylin Mayberry brings it up the floor here for the Panthers. Under 30 seconds to play in the first half. Score 30 to 22. Works down to 21 seconds. They're going to play for the last shot of the half. Looks like it. On the floor right now, Aiden Estep, Sam Peterson, Bradley Henry, Brody Emery, Brylan Mayberry. Brylan sets up at midcourt. We're going to have a timeout here with nine and a half seconds left in the half. As they take time, we'll take time as well. We'll send it back to the studio. You're listening to Panther Basketball. On your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball in your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Nine and a half seconds left here in the half. Panthers with the basketball looks to get another one more shot off here to end the half. They lead it by eight. They've led by as much as 11. It's impressive the start of the game. Wasn't a lot of scoring early, but 
Panthers held the Licking Wildcats to no points through the first four minutes of this game. Goes to Henry, Henry works to the near side. Looks to drive baseline, spins, puts a shot up, draws the foul with three seconds left. Two free throws on the way for Bradley Henry. Three De seconds. Destin Unger checking in. Looks like Aiden Eastep checking in as well. Eight point ball game here. So that's gonna be the second one on Garrett Gorman. Free throws up and good. Nine point ball game. Eastep checks in, Peterson checks out. Sets up. Bradley Henry on free throw number two. It's up and no good. Rebound, three quarters of a court shot was nearly good. Bounced in and out. Panthers lead it by nine as we head to the half. Halftime score 31-22. As we send it back to the studio, you're listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Basketball in your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Panthers lead it here at the half over the Licking Wildcats. Score 31 to 22 in a, uh, a game that Brylon Mayberry still hasn't scored here in the first half, by the way. He's affected the game, has a couple nice assists, played well defensively, but uh, Brylon hadn't been able to score. Peyton Shannon knocked down a three. Bradley Henry is second on the team behind uh, Gatlin Keeling in points, by the way. Bradley has nine. Keeling now has 10 in the first half. Brody Emery, the freshman, come in. He got a nice jumper to go. So we've had a little bit going, but uh, it took a little while for the offense to get going. Panthers have led by as much as 11 in this game. Uh, I'm sure Coach had to be excited for what his defense was able to do early on in this game, holding the Licking Wildcats to zero points through the first four minutes. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. You know, that's, uh, that's tough to do and uh, against a good-looking Wildcat basketball team. So these guys got out here, got after it. And uh, the defense, I mean, the effort is, has been there. And you were kind of wondering about their legs after just having a game last night, playing back-to-back -back nights. We haven't seen that factor in so far, but uh, some of these JV guys were able to get in earlier last night than uh, we would typically see. So uh, you were able to work a rotation. You have a kid like Aiden Estep getting a, a couple minutes here tonight, a kid that we've not had available to us, and, and just making his way back into action and a, a kid that I think you're going to see just continue to gain more and more time. One uh, that we want to talk about is Trace DeVries. He hasn't got the scoring going tonight, but uh, Trace continuing to do good things in the game. You said he had 19 points last yes. night. His all season is shot very effective. And you're seeing Trace night in, night out begin to gain – a little confidence, be able to uh, to gain more minutes every night, and uh, it's been good to see that for Trace as uh, he continues to get things yeah. going. Carson it's especially Allen. good for him. I'm sorry, I didn't yeah. mean to cut you off. Especially good for him because it's been such a long road for him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He started out uh, playing off the bench, uh, very few minutes, and he's worked really hard to get where he's at. Yes, That's and super cool. He's one of your seniors, and uh, – and able to come out here and, and continue to earn more minutes. Good to see Sam Peterson getting the start in this one. Sam's done some good things, picked up uh, a foul kind of early on in this one, but uh, Sam continuing to do well in his spot. But Carson's come in off the bench and gave Ritz some fits, and Ritz was kind of getting going on us. Yeah. Came in, had like six points off the bench for Ritz for the Licking Wildcats. Next thing you know, you blink your eye, and Ritz has three fouls. And uh, a lot of that was really because of what Carson had going on underneath. Uh, the post play has been uh, just fantastic down there. Both of those guys doing a good job uh, maintaining. You know, just because you have size doesn't mean that you're a good post player. Right. And I'm by no means taking anything away from the Licking Wildcats. But Sam Peterson is a quarter of that – well, not a quarter. Yeah. He's probably half his size. And he pushes him around down there. Yeah, uh, he's, he's giving him the business. He's done well. But I thought Ritz came in off the bench and played really well for the Licking Wildcats. Yeah. And, and uh, once Carson came in – uh, it just, he offered a different type of challenge is what he had with yeah. with Sam before then. So uh, good first half here for the Panthers. Again, they led by as much as 11. They lead by nine here at the half. We're about two minutes away from uh, getting the second half started. Halftime show brought to you by State Farm agent Stephen Gum. We'll send it back to the studio. You're listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball in your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Coming out here in the second half, we'll start off with Brylin Mayberry, Gatlin Keeling, Peyton Shannon, Sam Peterson, and Bradley Henry. You're starting five for tonight on the floor. Looks like starting five coming back out here for the Wildcats with Gorman, Solens, James, Stockard, and Cook. 
gets set up. Panthers start off with the ball here in the third, leading it by nine. Henry picks up his dribble out by the volleyball line, passes over to Peyton Shannon, goes to Brylin Mayberry. Backs it out, now looks to Shannon. Shannon starts to drive in, backs out, goes to Gatlin Keeling on the near side. Keeling looked to the baseline, to Peterson wasn't there, looks over, passes to Brylin Mayberry at the top of the key. Brylin sets up, looks to Keeling. Keeling had a little space. Was trying to find Henry underneath at the, at the bucket, wasn't there. Out to Brylin, Brylin works to his left, splits him, kicks it out, finds Shannon for three, leaves that one short. Rebound tipped around, comes away to Gorman. Then taken away by Bradley Henry, drives right back to the rim, shot up, shot good. And Bradley Henry takes us back to an 11 point lead for the Panthers. He now has 11 in this game. Solens brings it back the other way for the Wildcats. Looks to Gorman, now to the far side. Works to his right, finds Cook, Cook. Trying to look out to Stockard, nearly taken away by Bradley Henry. Stockard works from outside. Finds James at the top who goes to Solon. Solon's resets for him. Goes to Gorman. Gorman sets up with Peterson in front of him. Looks to Stockard in the far side corner, right in front of the Wildcat bench. Works it back out to Solon. Solon's looks underneath, not there. Not a lot of movement underneath for him. Drives in, kicks it out, goes to Solon's. Works it around to Stockard. Sets up. Reset, shoots a three, and drills it from Man. the far side corner. Mayberry ended up like five rows up in the bleachers. Yep, gave a little fake. He went up, jumping for it. Henry with the spin, drives in, charge called. That's going to be number three on Bradley Henry, by the way. Had two quick ones there in the, fir er, in the second. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you missed the uh, explanation to Coach Openshaw over there. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to go back and watch yeah. that one. Well, I didn't have the camera pointed at it either, so you can't do that. Solens brings it up, brings it across midcourt for the Wildcats. Panthers lead it by eight, six, ten left in the third. Looks underneath, goes to his right. Looks to Stockard, back out, finds Gorman, and then over to Solens. Solens looks in, goes to the near side corner to James. James is Brylin Mayberry in front of him, works it back around, goes to Gorman. Now back to James. James pulls up on about a... 15-foot jumper, shot up, won't go. Gatlin Keeling with the rebound. He's pushing it up the floor, wasting no time. Now looks to Sam Peterson. He loads up a three, shot is up, won't go. Bounce off the rim. Rebound comes away to Keaton Cook. Cook brings it back the other way. Feeds it in underneath. Shot up, blocked by Bradley Henry. Goes up after that one to Brylin Mayberry. Floater up, won't go. Tipped out, comes away to Shannon. Trying to drive back in and fouled under the rim. How about that block? from Bradley Henry. I'm telling you, he got up there. He got up there. Up there enough, I thought it may be a goaltending. It was close. <laughs> Eight point lead, they say he was in the act of shooting, so Peyton Shannon goes to the free throw line. How tall is Bradley? Uh, probably 6'1", 6'2", yeah. something like that. You know that official looked at him and said, no, one, uh, no way that 6'1 kid just jumped up there and did <laughs> yeah. that. Free throws up and good. He says, they had a movie about this. I've heard it. I've heard about it. Second free throw from Shannon. Up and good. Ten point lead for the Panthers. Gets it in. Wildcats bring it up. Solens crosses midcourt trying to get around Shannon. Looks out to Stockard. Stockard on the near side. Has Henry in front of him. Now back to Stockard. Stockard looks baseline. Now kicks it out. Finds Solens. Solens to his left. Dumps it off. Back out. Solens drives in. Shot up. I think Brylin got a piece of it. Takes it away. Gets it out to Bradley Henry. Henry has it knocked away by Stockard, comes away to the Wildcats. That's, I believe that is Butner. Three up. Won't go, rebound. Who's going to come away with it? Solens tips it back. Lost underneath. And jump ball call. Possession arrow keeps Oof. it with the Wildcats, though, as Cook had Brylin Mayberry all over him. Brylin ties him up for the jump ball. Ten-point lead for the Panthers, 454 remaining in the third. Cook looks to get it in. Goes to Stockard. Stockard will back it out. Looks outside. Floats it in. Kicks it. Trying to kick it back out. Last touch by Bradley Henry as it goes out. Keaton Cook trying to look back to Stockard in the corner. Trying to set up that three again. Panthers lead by 10. Just one team foul apiece here in the third with 445 remaining in the third. Gets it into Buckner. Buckner works from outside. Has Sam Peterson in front of him. Works it over to Stockard on the far side. Back to Buckner, loads up a long three. Shot up, shot is good. 
Cannon Buckner gets that one to go, makes this a seven point ball game. Quickly to Sam Peterson, gets him up off his feet, goes up, draws the foul. Sam Peterson heading to the free throw line. High basketball IQ there from Sam Peterson. Way to get him up in the air, hey, make him foul you. Does that, it gives him that fake every time, and it works. Keaton Cook on the foul call. Just his first, second team foul for the Wildcats. Sam Peterson sets up at the free throw line. First one for Sam's up and good. Brody Emery checking in here. Peyton Shannon will have a seat. Shannon comes out. Sam sets up, seven points on the night so far for Sam. Second free throws up and good, eight points. Buckner brings it up here for the Wildcats. Picks up his dribble, looks to the far side, goes to Solons. Solons has Brody Emery, the freshman, in in front of him. Works to his left, looks to the far side, finds James, now underneath to Stockard. Stockard looks to his right, Buckner loads up a three, shot is up, shot is in and out, won't go. Off the rim, rebound comes away to Gatlin Keeling, goes to Brylin Mayberry, trying to force that over to Brody Emery, taken away by the Wildcats, then tipped away, taken away again by Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry dumps it off, Keeling underneath, shot up, shot is good. And Gatlin Keeling adds two more for the Panthers. Man, I felt like I was stuck in a ping pong game there for a second. Bringing it up to the other side. Solons crosses midcourt. Timeout. Timeout taken by the Wildcats. Panthers lead it 39-28. It's 11-point lead for the Panthers with 346 remaining in the third. We'll send it back to the studio. You're listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball in your home of Good Panther night, Sports, Big Country 99. Solons brings it up and across midcourt. Passes to Stockard, looks over to the far side corner, goes to James, baseline, floats it back inside, pulls up on a jumper. That was, get a number on him. Shot is good, it's a nine point ball game. That was Cook. 23, yeah. Uh, Charge, Charge called, called on the other side. That's three or four. Same with number four on Bradley. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get that or give it to Henry. That's He's going to have to go sit a while. Fourth, man. And what's a nine point ball game? Bradley has to go to the bench with his fourth foul. E step checks in for him. Solens brings it up the floor. Crosses midcourt with it. Works to the far side. So on the floor right now, Brody Emery, a freshman. You have. Aiden Estep, sophomore, looks to the other side, goes to Stockard, by the way, looks baseline. This one tipped around, nice double comes team. away to Sam Peterson. He's on the floor. Gatlin Keeling and Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry drives, splits defenders, trying to dump it off here to Sam. Shot up, won't go as that was blocked back. Sam works back, and they called another charge. That's three or four for Sam, This too, is the I most believe. charges I've seen called in a game this season. What do we got, like four in the game now? Yeah. Second one yeah, on they've Sam. called one on one on Licking, one on Sam on the charge, and two on Bradley Henry. Yep. To the other side goes to Solons, near side to Stockard, pulls up on a three, nothing but Man. net. Stockard drills it, makes this a six-point ball game. 2:40 left in the third. Brings it up, goes to Aiden, near side finds Gatlin Keeling. Keeling works to his right. Two and a half minutes left in the third. Finds Brody Emery. Emery. To Brylin Mayberry at the top of the key, underneath to Sam Peterson. Sam finishes at the rim, adds two for the Panthers. Big opportunity here. Sam's going to have to keep on getting them points. Ten points now in this one for him. Looks to the near side, finds James. James gets around Aiden, pulls up on a long two. Shot is up, shot is good. As the Wildcats answer right back. Brylin Mayberry brings it up the floor for the Panthers. Works up to midcourt, looks to the near side, trying to, thought he's going to go to Gatlin Keeling there. 
Instead goes across the floor, nearly overthrows Brody Emery, able to go up and get that one. Outside to Sam, Sam through traffic, trying to dump it off to Brylin Mayberry, comes away to Stockard. Stockard to the other side, layup up, layup is good. Timeout call. And Coach Hill wants to take time and talk about it. They've made it a four point ball game, score 41-37 with a minute 50 left in the third. As we send it back to the studio, you are listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on your home of Panthers Sports. Big Country 99. Minute 50 left here in the third. Panthers lead it 41 to 37. As we come out of the timeout, Coach O seeing this go from an 11 point ball game to the Wildcats making it a four point ball game. Said, hey, we better talk about this one. Try to, let's regroup it. I mean, as long as we were matching them for score, we were doing fine, but a uh, couple of turnovers. Brylin Mayberry with the ball, looks to Aiden Eastep instead, tries to feed it in underneath to Brody Emery. Tip back, Gatlin Keeling up off the glass. <laughs> Thought that was gonna go out. Brody kind of gets back, it somehow gets tipped back in by the Wildcats. Ends up in the hands of Gatlin Keeling, who's able to finish off the glass. Carson Allen set to check in here for the Panthers. James works to the top for the Wildcats, looks to the near side, finds Solons. Solons is Brody Emery with him, looks underneath, and this will be a foul on Aiden Eastep. Hit him right in the nose. <laughs> yeah, you can't really. Uh, he went to swipe at it, just swiped from the top of his nose all the way down. Can't really deny that one. Nope. 43-37, the score 115 left here in the third. Peterson checks out, and Carson checks in. As that is number two called on Aiden Eastep, by the way. That was Cook that was fouled. Four team fouls now for the Panthers. Yeah, Aiden just looked said, sorry, man. Didn't mean to do that. Looks to get it in. James floats it in, tip back. Who's going to come away with it? Gatlin Keeling comes away with it for the Panthers. Keeling brings it up that right side, works it across midcourt. Looks out to Aiden. Aiden lines up a three, shot up, misses. Rebound comes away to the Wildcats. To the other side, that was James with the rebound. Kicks it back to Sullins, who crosses midcourt. Panthers lead at 43-37. Looks inside, Ritz shot up, won't go, but a foul called. That's gonna put Ritz at the free throw line, called on Carson Allen. Oof. Coach O, continuing to coach. That's right, being Coach O. They're all coaching moments, right? <laughs> it's a coachable moment, that's right. It's just coached at a very high volume. Ritz's free throw is up and no good. Sets up for his second. 43-37, 49 seconds left here in the third. Ritz sets up on his second free throw. Going pink and white on the shoes. <laughs> There's some crazy stuff out Looks there. Looks like he's year. wearing Georgia's mailbox on his feet. <laughs> free throws up and good. Goes one for two, 45 seconds left in the third. Five team fouls for the Panthers here in the third. It's a five point ball game. Looks to Gatlin Keeling, Keeling. Resets it here, goes to Brody Emery at the top of the key, finds Brylin Mayberry. Brylin works to his left, splits, goes to Brody, shot up off the glass and good. Good assist there from Brylin. Brylin still no points, but continues to make things happen. 20 seconds left here in the third. Looks to the near side to James, out to Ritz, over to the far side, finds Cook. Drives in, that's Buckner. Now to Ritz on the jumper, shot up, won't go. Rebound comes away to Brylin Mayberry. Mm. Loses dribble, and what do we got called here? They're gonna. Is there a call? Try to see what the time, did we get a timeout call oh, or do we have a? The official just pushed Coach Openshaw back over to the box, so I'm not real sure. I think we've got a timeout call. They take time, we'll take time as well. Five and a half seconds left in the third. We'll send it back to the studio. You are listening to Panther Basketball on Big Country 99.
Welcome back to Panther Basketball on Big Country. 99 gets it into Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry drives to the hole, shot up, won't go. Runs off, rolls off the front of the rim. Half court shot from Licking won't go either as time expires here in the third. We head to the fourth, Panthers leading it by seven. Score 45-38 as we send it back. You're listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on Big Country 99. Panthers get this one to start the fourth, gets it into Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry breaks it up and had some contact here from Buckner. Wow. Quick whistle there. Yeah, it's going to be Buckner's second. Is that right? Well, yes. Two on Buckner. They never added Buckner's points earlier. He made a three. They never put it up on the board. Still giving him a big zero. Yep. I mean, they gave the team the point total. They just didn't didn't credit him with the points. Gotcha. Gotcha. 45-38 the score here. Panthers. Gets it in, goes to Peterson. Shot is up, shot is good for Sam. Make it 47-38. Panthers back out to a nine-point lead. Licking brings it back the other way. Solons brings it across midcourt. Feeding it in underneath, trying to go to Cook. Shot up, shot is good for Keaton Cook. Brody Emery brings it up for the Panthers, crosses midcourt, goes to Brylin Mayberry, loads up a three. Why nothing not? but net. Why not? Kid can shoot. That was his first points of the game. <laughs> Solon brings believe. it up, yeah. Yeah, with seven and a half minutes left in the game for Brylin, a kid that scored 1,000 points in his high school career. Yeah. There we've seen score 25-30 in a game. Kicks it out. Goes to Gorman. Out to James at the top of the key. Has Brylin in front of him. He's looking to step back on that. Feeds it over to Solons instead. Now dumps it off underneath. Trying to go to Ritz. Ritz works back. Shot up. Won't go. Rebound comes away to Brody Emery. Emery pushes it up the floor. Goes to Gatlin Keeling. Good. And one coming for Gatlin Keeling. That was a uh, an alley oop layup there. Sure. From almost three quarters of the court. <laughs> that, is that what you would call that, it? That's very lucky, is what that was. It, it, it all came down to perfect timing. 52 40. It was a good looking shot. Timeout called. Everybody loves that. We'll look at Coach O. Yeah. Wow. What a play. 12 point lead for the Panthers. Wildcats want to take time. As they take time, we'll send it back to the studio. You're listening to Panther Basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99. Welcome back to Panther Basketball on Big Country 99. Keeling goes to the free throw line for an and one opportunity here. Free throws up, free throws good. I didn't see who they put the foul on though. They didn't put it up for us. 13 point lead here for the Panthers. Solens brings it up, goes to Gorman. Gorman from the near side, out to Ritz, over to James. James looks in to Cook, not there. Out to Solens at the top of the key. Now finds James again. James fakes to his right, goes to his left. Now looks in, picks up his dribble. Looks to get this out. Finds Gorman. Gorman pulls up on a jumper. Shot up. Won't go. Rebound for the Wildcats. And the putback from Cook is good. Cuts it to an 11-point ball game. 
Rylan Mayberry to the other side for the Panthers. Works from outside. Goes to his left. Kicks to the corner. Goes to Shannon. Shannon will be fouled. Oh, nope, nope. They're going to say not a foul. They kicked it. Hmm. Kicked ball. As long as we get the ball back. Ball stays with the Panthers, who have an 11-point lead with 6.08 left in the game. Brylin goes into Brody Emery. Outside to Gatlin Keeling. Keeling steps in, backs it out. Looks over to Brody. Brody goes to his right, big jump stop. Pulls back on the jumper, stays with it. Put max up and good, and that's why you follow your shot. Second effort right there. 13-point game. Panthers lead it 55-42. 547 left here in this one as Solens brings it across midcourt. Looks to the near side. Over to Ritz to the other side. Now feeds it in underneath. Goes to the baseline. Near side. Cook puts up a three. Won't go. Rebound comes away to Brody Emery. Emery throws it up. Finds Peyton Shannon. Shannon to his right. Called for the travel. Had that momentum going, couldn't get stopped. Yeah. Had his dribble cut off. 55-42 your score. 526 left here in the ball game. Wildcats look to get this one in. Goes to Solon. Solon's to bring it up, sets it up for the Wildcats. 55-42 the score. 520 left in this one. Works to his right. Looks to drive to the other side. Goes to Stockard who pulls up on a three. Shot up. Little short rebound comes away to Peyton Shannon. Shannon gets it out to Brylin Mayberry. Crosses midcourt with it. Mayberry backs up. Resets. Goes. Kicks it out. I don't know if he was trying to go to Gatlin, but it ends up in Gatlin's hands. Thought he was trying to go to Shannon there. Now back over to Brylin Mayberry. To his right. Drives in, layup up and good. Brylin Mayberry gets that one to go. Panthers have their largest lead of the game as they lead it by 15. Trying to get this underneath to Cook. Knocked away by Brylin Mayberry. Ball stays with the Wildcats. Mayberry's relentless out there. When he takes it off the dribble, he's going to find a way to make you miss. Now Bradley Henry checks in here for the Panthers. He's playing with four fouls. He's set the bench for a while now. Peyton Shannon checks out. I think he's set down with that fourth foul with about four minutes left in the third. So... He's in trouble on the, the foul side. Two charges on the night for Bradley. Outside, three here, shot up, won't go. Rebound comes down to Sam Peterson, gets it back to Bradley Henry. Down to four and a half minutes left in this one. 15-point lead for the Panthers who have the basketball. Looks to Sam. Sam back over to Brylin. Brylin thought about that three. Instead goes back over to Brody Emery. Emery works to the top of the key, passes it to Gatlin Keeling. Finds Bradley Henry. Hands it off out to Brylin. Good ball movement here for the Panthers. Finds nice Emery look. slicing the basket. Layup up and in for Brody Emery. Nice look. Did you see that? Yep. Just as they drew it up. I'm telling you. Eight points on the night for the freshman, Brody Emery. I don't think he even looked. Looks out. James, layup up and in. So they answer right back with a layup of their own. 15-point lead for the Panthers. Brings it back the other way with Bradley Henry. 3.45 left in this one out to Brylin Mayberry. And Mayberry's going to get you and make you come out and defend him. And nearly lost his dribble. Looks to Brody Emery, who's filling it right now. Out to Bradley Henry at midcourt. Three and a half minutes left in the game. Score here 59-44. Goes baseline. Henry. Near side. Brody Emery for three. Won't go. Rebound. This one last touch by the Wildcats. Ball stays with the Panthers. Down to 319 like left. Ritz checking out. Is that Buckner checking back in, 25? Yep. Buckner, three-point shooter. Yeah, he's got one to go anyway. Brylin Mayberry looks to get it in, finds Sam Peterson at the top of the key. Peterson drives to his right, a little contact there, shot up off the glass and good. Sam Peterson gives the Panthers a 17-point lead. He's got to be careful about dipping that shoulder. Buckner. The other side, lines up for a three at the top of the key. Shot up, won't go. Last touch by Cook for the Wildcats as it goes out. Ball goes back to the Panthers. Trace DeVries checks in. And Brody Emery checks out. Brody Emery with probably the best game I've seen him play in his high school career in basketball varsity. He's getting been, those eight points. He's been playing quite a bit of JV, trying to get some uh, extra time on yeah. the floor. And uh, it's really starting to show. 
Bradley Henry brings it up and across midcourt. Henry drives, loses his dribble, trying to find Trace DeVries. He's able to tip it out to him somehow. DeVries backs it out. Under three minutes to play in this one. Goes to Gatlin Keeling. Keeling to his left. Kicks it out to Sam Peterson. Fakes the three and then will be fouled. That's going to be on Cook, number 23. Just three team fouls here. Three team fouls with 2.43 left. Still no team fouls for the Panthers, by the way, here in right. the fourth, who lead it by 17. Gets it into Sam. Has it taken away by Stockard, and they're going to call DeVries with a foul. So I jinxed that. <laughs> First team foul for the Panthers. That's going to be number two on Trace, I think. I believe. Had one earlier, yeah. Had one earlier. 61-44 the score. Panthers lead the Wildcats. At home tonight over here at the Mountain Grove Panther Arena. Solens brings it up. Works from the far side with Trace DeVries in front of him. Kicks to the near side corner. Now looks back out to Solens. Under two and a half to play. Moves it around. He's looking over towards Stockard. That was cut off by Henry. Now to Cook on the far side. Cook to his right. And had that taken away by Bradley Henry. Henry to the other side. Henry around the back. Layup up and no good. Rebound by Trace DeVries. Kicks it out to Sam Peterson. Lines up a three. In and out. Won't go. Rebound comes away to Cook. To the other side with two minutes left in the game. Trying to feed it in underneath. Tipped out. Comes away to Trace DeVries. DeVries to the other side for the Panthers. Crosses oh. midcourt out to Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry top of the key. Works to his right around some contact. And they're going to say foul on the floor. Aiden Estep set to check in here for the Panthers with 1.51 remaining in the game. Sam Peterson was wide open down there. I, was, I just don't think DeVries saw him. Fourth one called on Cook, by the way. I think all four of those have come in the second half. Yeah. Bradley Henry checks out as Aiden checks in. Go sideline or? Yep. Goes to Trace, goes back to Brylin Mayberry. Mayberry sets it up here for the Panthers. 1.45. Works to the top. Now he's on go. Drives in. Has that one tipped out. Comes away to Stockard. Stockard trying to come back the other way. Good defense there by Aiden, but Stockard gets it to go. Keeling to the other side. Pulls up. Floater off the right hand. Won't go. Rebound put back there for Brylin Mayberry. It's up and in. Mayberry now with seven points in this one. To the other side. Finds Stockard. Far side. Pulls up on a three. Shot up. Bounce off the rim. Won't go. As 24 able to get the rebound, feeds it in underneath to James. Shot up, won't go. Rebound to 22 this time, and That's a step. foul on the floor. 22, by the way, is Stevens. Yeah, stay on the floor, boys. Leave your feet down there. Aiden? If so, I think it's yeah. his third. If you uh, leave your feet, we're going to get a line change here anyway. We'll get some uh, freshmen, seniors. Lead it by mix. 17. And Hector Stewart, Kel checks Gardner. In. Gardner checks in. Yep. Destin Unger checks in. You still have a knee step on the floor. Stewart's out there. Floats it in. Works out there at the top. Drives to his left. Far side corner. Looks to work baseline and lost his dribble. Throws it away. Comes away to Aiden knee step. Under right. a minute to play. If Aiden you didn't, brings it up the floor. If you didn't know, 52 is a three point shooting machine. 52? 52 for us, yeah. Wilkerson? Oh, yeah. Outside to Gardner. Gardner. He was dropping bombs in the fourth quarter last night and brought the bench to their feet every time. A knee step picks up his dribble. They've got him trapped out here at midcourt in a foul call. 63-46. 37 seconds left in this one. First one called on James, by the way. As we go to the bonus, Aiden Estep heads to the free throw line. Aiden sets up. Free throws up and oh. no good. It was, and then it wasn't. Yep, touched all of the rim. Aiden sets up for his second. Second free throws up and no good. Rebound comes away to the Wildcats. They push it up the floor, brings it across midcourt. Works from the near side. Stevens has that one knocked away by Aiden, but he's able to run it down. Out to Stockard. 25 seconds. Stockard looks in, goes across the floor instead, gives a fake, trying to get around Kale Gardner. Picks up his dribble, now looks out to Stockard. Stockard sets up a for three, top of the key, and drills it. 12 seconds. 
Aiden Eastamp bringing it up the floor, crosses midcourt, doesn't have to do anything with it. This one's going to go final. Goes to Kale Gardner. 2-1 over. Panthers win it, 63-49. Final score. They get the win over the Licking Wildcats at home tonight. As we'll kick it back to the studio, we'll come back post-game show. Don't miss out on that. Brought to you by your friends over at Family Pharmacy and Mountain Grove Pharmacy as we'll have Coach O up here shortly as we send it back here listening to Panther basketball on your home of Panther Sports, Big Country 99.